this computer. All right, we are recording. Hey, everybody. I am Kayla O, your director for Team Let's Talk Sense. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. It is a wine and team meeting evening, as usual for me. But I just want to come on here and say hello. I'm Kayla O. I am a uh, military spouse, prior military. I am also, let's see here, how can I do this? How do I mute everybody? Mm -hmm. I don't remember how to do it. Okay, mute, muted. Welcome, welcome, anybody else here's new. I am a, I go to school full time. I am a group fitness instructor. I do marketing for a rental home business and I have two kids under the age of three and my husband has gone 75% of the year. So I'm a very busy, busy woman and I also love to sell Sensi, obviously. I've taken three incentive trips that I've earned for free. Um, I've gone to world tour. I've done all the events. I have not done family reunion yet because the little bambinos, but I am going this year and I hope to see you all there. But uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that um, towards the end. But I just wanted to introduce myself a little bit. And now that we have a couple people on here, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The purpose of our meeting is going to be the three legs of success. Um, we're going to talk about Sensi Club. We're going to talk about our 2020 goals and word of the year. And we're going to talk a little bit about world tour and family reunion briefly. I wanted to do a couple shout outs of achievements. Uh, Crystal Randall, who we have on here tonight, Natalie Lanza and Amanda Lee all hit certified in November. So whoop, whoop. Good job, girls. Yay. Yay. Let's see here. Somebody's messaging me, so I'm sure they're not. Oh, I don't think they're real. I don't think they can get on. Let's see here. Uh, can I put subtitles on? That is a very good question. We have a member who is deaf. We do, and she just messaged me and asked if I can put subtitles on. All right, I'm going to pause recording for one second and do some technical resume. Okay, Megan Kesey is so close to hitting certified this month. Miranda Bradshaw hit level one of the incentive, and Chelsea Coyle and Emily Hackensmith are so close to hitting level one as well. So I'm super proud of all of you guys. Um, one thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that it is possible. I am no one special. I am Kayla O. I grew up in a regular town with regular people, and I've been on three free vacations because of this little whack business, whack, this little whack business, this little wax business, and I know that all of you can be there as well, and it's so exciting to earn these trips and to be able to take them and just get off in like my own little mom break mode is the best feeling ever, and it, it, I can feel my business get stronger, honestly, when I do take these vacations. Um, now that we're going to be talking about some of the selling techniques and efforts, tonight we're talking about the three legs of success. And I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys an image. I'm going to go ahead and share it right now. We are looking at the three legs of success this evening. So with the three legs of success, you can see that there's sales of PRV, there's recruiting, and there's coaching. And right at the tippy top is self-care. So you have self-care, it's going to help you be able to achieve and keep your legs strong below you. In order to be successful as a Sensi consultant, you need to focus on building systems around these three legs. So if you're going into 2020 without systems, your 2020 is not going to be that great. I'm not gonna lie, it might start out okay, but you need to have systems built. So with sales, you need to have bag parties, home, or you don't need to. Some of the options are bag parties, home parties, events, customer follow-up system, specials, whiff boxes, um, Sensi Club is huge, something that we really need to be marketing a little bit better. Um, I know it's new, but I can't believe how many people have signed up for it now because I've been sharing it a little bit more than I haven't really been sharing it at all before. And people are like, oh, wow, yeah, I want to do that. Um, the next one is recruiting. Recruiting is sharing the opportunity consistently and not waiting for people to come to you. Um, constantly sharing the opportunity by showing pictures of you, you know, things that you're be able to buy or able to do with your family or without your family. Um, because of the money that you made from Sensi, obviously post the income disclosure. Um, sharing the lifestyles and experiences, like I said, just how, you, how it has blessed you. Sharing your story and your journey. Um, booking blitz. We're going to have a booking blitz in January. I will talk a little bit about that, more about that in a minute. Um, 
your list of a hundred. So something that I learned about that I wanted to, I'm going to pause this for just a minute. Something that I learned about recently was with your list of a hundred, you're writing down people that you, um, just all these people that you know, and hold on, let me pull it up here. Um, all of these people that you know, and maybe all these people you don't really know, because you don't want to just ask people that are, um, why is it not pulling up here? Frank, 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 here it is, Frank List. Um, you're not, okay, mom brain, hold on, let me just take a sip here and just gather my thoughts. You don't want to just ask people that you think would want to buy Sensi. You want to ask every single person. And you don't have to be like, you want to buy some Sensi? You want to buy some Sensi? No. Sharing with people, going live, showing stuff on Facebook. I've gained sales and customers I never thought would have bought Sensi. I have a customer who asked me to help him shop for his wife and his grandma and his mom. He saw me on Facebook. No clue. I'm public. And he's like, I just really need some help. He's like, you know, you mentioned that you could help me with some Christmas gift ideas and smell goods. My wife and they would love it. So just help me. So sharing that is 100% key to getting your customers that you never thought you would ever get. Now, one thing that helps me with my list of 100, so let me share this with you. Where's my Frank at? Frank, share. So creating a who do you know Frank list. The Frank list is something that you have, you're going to list off your friends, you're going to list off your relatives, you're going to list off, list off your acquaintances, your neighbors, and any kid contacts that you might have or know. Now, kid contacts are teachers, coaches, friends, parents, um, a, a coach, I think that says, it looks like couch, but acquaintances are your coworkers, maybe clubs, your church, a hairdresser, your nail salon, stuff like that. So Frank is something I was introduced to with being able to make this list of 100 a little bit easier. Um, your friends are going to be, you know, your, your friends, social media friends, your school friends, your work, or not really your work friends, that's uh, your acquaintances more so. But if you have work friends, you could put them there. But Frank is something I want you guys to really try. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the form that I'm going to upload onto our page and it's over on my OneDrive. I just have to pull it up and I'm going to download this and I'm going to put it on our pages. No, thanks. Um, that was one thing I wanted to share with you guys about that. Now, still sharing, we are going to having a system to set up new recruits for success. You need to have a system of, I will do the summary after. If that's all right, if that's all right. Mommy. I can get it on for next month, next month. I can get CC, I can CC on no, for next month. I can CC on for next month. Close to, okay, sorry, that was our friend who is deaf. I didn't realize I had that accessibility need. I feel terrible. Um, having a system to set up new recruits for success. So your launch list. Oh, getting kisses from behind. Thank you. Your launch list is basically for your new recruits is going to be, you know, teaching them about their list of a hundred, teaching them about their launch list, teaching, making sure that they're understanding, you know, shooting stars, sensational start. So having a system to set up new recruits for success is important to helping them achieve greatness and which is in turn going to help them want to train their new people. So if we can make sure that everybody is trained correctly throughout the process, then everybody's going to, you know, reap the benefits of really starting out strong. Um, the third leg is coaching. Ensuring new recruits are set up for success, like I said, making sure you have a system to set them up, using a coaching system, um, AIM, I will let you guys, I will post the AIM video, which is the training for using a coaching system. I will make sure that I share that group with you guys and I will add you all to it because that's a whole different training on its own. Oh, uh, no, Rory, stay out of the Christmas presents. No, 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 that's not yours. These are mommy's. Go, go, go. Out of mommy's room. Out of mommy's room. Uh-oh, she got in the Christmas presents. Um, creating videos that show basics of Sensi. So with coaching, with coaching, go on. This is, those will fit me. Those are definitely my flamingo underwear. Those are not yours. Go on. Those are mommy's. Go on. 
um, challenging, uh, creating videos that show basics of Scentsy. So showing people, like showing people you're making samples and how easy it is will also kind of help with recruiting people onto your team. Challenging your downline to hit or exceed goals. You are, obviously you see me challenging you guys to try and hit or exceed goals. That is not just, that's not for me. Yes, you know, there are numbers that I have to hit as well, but that's also for you. I want you to still get a paycheck. I want you to feel accomplished. I want you to still work your business so you can see, gain these incentives and earn just, you know, achievements and feel as good as I feel about how I did work, as I work my business. I still do. Um, and uh, iron sharpens iron. I have no clue what that means, but it sounds very important. I cannot remember what that meant or why I put it in there. We're just going to skip that one. The top of it is the self-care. The self-care holds it all together. And I will let you guys, I will post this on our page, but there's the basics of, you know, creating a no list with things you don't like or you no longer want to do. Um, this is not just for Sensi. This is for you in general. Um, you know, maybe you don't want to check emails at nighttime or no Facebook an hour before you wake up or an hour after you wake up and an hour before you go to bed. Um, not attending gatherings you don't like, don't answer your phone during lunch or dinner, stuff like that, healthy diets, getting enough sleep, exercising, um, medical care, don't push off you know, checkups, I do that all the time, um, rec relaxation exercises, um, spending enough time with your loved ones, do at least one relaxing activity every day, do at least one pleasurable activity, I don't know why my daughter's yelling, do at least one pleasurable activity every day and then looking for opportunities to laugh that is my biggest one i live to laugh i love to laugh and that's just my life so finding opportunities to laugh gets me through the day especially with how busy i am and even while my husband is deployed so that is the three legs of success i wanted to share with you all the next portion actually hold on let me get you guys back up in here where's my big show big stop sharing there you are I wanted to unmute you guys. Do you guys have any questions, um, Crystal or Chelsea, you have anything to add? Um, not to that, no. No, okay, does it make sense? Yeah. Crystal, I, I can't unmute you for some reason, but I just wanted to see if that made sense to you. Hello? There we go. I don't know oh. why you couldn't unmute me. <laughs> no, you're fine. No, it makes sense and I have nothing to add right now. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk to you all about is your word of the year. So my word of the year for 2020 is the word pour, P-O-U-R. And I want to pour myself in like emotionally, mentally, and physically into my business, into myself, with self-care, and I'm also gonna pour into my team. But I'm not going to overpour. I'm gonna have certain levels of a cup that I have that you know I can't overpour into the team because it's just gonna be unbalanced. So pour is my word for the year. And one bad habit that I am leaving in 2019 is something I, I really enjoyed was one bad habit I'm leaving and one bad habit I'm taking. I would love and encourage for you guys to write down or come up with a word for yourself for the year and to pick one bad habit that you want to leave behind. Crystal, I know you're fairly new, but um, you are uh, killing it. So I feel like you probably already know if you have a bad habit or if you don't. Um, my bad habit that I'm leaving behind is overpouring, basically putting too much either into the team or not enough into myself or not enough into my business. So just rebalancing. Um, one good habit I'm taking is that I continue to do quality over quantity. I don't need 400 people on my team right now. Would I like it? Yes. But I have quality team members who are amazing and pour their life and soul into this team. And you guys make my day better every single day. So that's one good habit that I'm going to keep taking into 2020. Um, the, like I said, I encourage y'all to pick one for yourself and stick to it for the year. And it's, amazing how it just kind of helps you focus and hone in on what you're trying to achieve for the year. We all have a sense of why, but every year I always pick a new word that I'm focusing on for the year. My word of the year last year was overachieving. And overachieving was a negative and a positive. And I would try to overachieve things 
negatively by just going above and beyond. But then I also overachieved in aspects mentally, physically, emotionally, um, just trying to help myself continue to overachieve. Um, it was a very strange word that I chose last year, but it worked out very well. Obviously, I hit director last year or this year. So overachieving. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk to y'all about, we don't have too, too much longer. It might not be a full hour today, is Sensi Club. Are you guys familiar with Sensi Club? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you know everything about Sensi Club? Probably not, but no. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, I don't either. It's something I continue to keep learning new things about. We're not watching TV right now. It's time for bed. No. Go on. Go. Go. Now I'm going to pop your butt. Mommy's trying to do this. <laughs> um, Sensi Club is something that can be a blessing on your business. If you can have people that are just subscribing to things and they're being placed every month, you could get $500 in orders and then all the work you're putting into it is extra on top of that $500. So really getting people, I understand that maybe you want to get rewards and you want to get the, and it's like all the, uh, the host credits and all that, but having somebody consistently order every month or every two months or even every three months, it's something that's going to be wonderful for your business. So giving up that host rewards or putting it under a party is something that I had to choose to do. And it has been a blessing in disguise. So I may not close out a party every month and use the rewards all the time, but I have one that I keep. Um, Fun fact. Oh, hold on. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Sensi Club is you want to talk to people and if they want to, you know, maybe they order washer whiffs every month. Whenever they do that, be like, oh, I order washer whiffs, one counter clean and three bars of wax every month. And then I order a flower every two months because they last 60 days. So one just ships to me after 60 days and I'm like, oh, it's time for me to change out my flower. So just becoming relatable with the Sensi Club is how you're going to be able to sell it a little bit better. That's the only way that I was able to really be like, oh, you guys want to order some stuff from my Sensi Club? No, it didn't work. So being like, this is what I do. I don't exactly do that, but I do order some stuff. But that's how I would do it if I had all the money in the world. But I don't. So just making it relatable. And I'm not trying to tell you to lie. I'm really not. But just making it relatable to a situation of, this is how it could be. If someone buys a counter cleaner or they buy, maybe they buy a six pack from you once a year, tell them just to do the Sensi Club once a month and then you have a better chance of them adding to their order to hit that $30 for $5 shipping or even 60 so that they can, you know, people like to get free shipping. People love free shipping. And that $500 order to get free shipping is way harder to reach now, I'm not gonna lie. I struggle with that aspect, hardcore. I was well, playing. and uh, yeah, the the bricks. That's a good like yes. extend extend incentive, I should yes. say, because after Christmas season they're gonna leave. So the only way that you can get bricks is through Sensi Club. Yes, so exactly right. So I do get Sensi Club every single month. I get a washer with box every single month, so I can take a picture of it for people. I have people that like to see it before they buy it, and I also have mm -hmm. um uh. Um, my Star Wars wax in there because I can't ever let it leave. It can never, never leave my side. Where did it go? <laughs> this right here, my Darth Vader with vetiver is my soul. I get six bars of these a month. It's a little excessive. Oh God. <laughs> it's excessive. I know it's excessive. I need to, I need to knock it down to three and I'm actually going to add the light side to that instead. Um, and some of the frozen ones. So I'll have my six pack, but I couldn't leave me. I refused to let it leave me. And what was I going to say? The, uh, the bricks crystal. So just so you're aware as well, bricks are available on Scentsy Club. You can get Luna, Welcome Home, Black Raspberry Vanilla, I think Cinnamon Vanilla. You can get a brick of them and then you can use those for your samples. Oh, that's a good idea. And I was going to say, if they would make the Winterberry Apple Tea I in know. a brick... Oh, or the huckleberry so apple pie in the I bricks. I know. And they won't do seasonal. They won't do seasonal like that in the bricks. No. But I can add you those and keep them throughout the year. Hold on Because that I'm harvest sorry. collection is my absolute favorite. Hold on, Rory. Hold on. 
One second. I have to just, I have to quickly lock my kid out of the room because she's getting no into all of the presents. Come on, go. <laughs> Can you blame her though? <laughs> no, I'm surprised my son hasn't gotten into anything yet. I'm surprised my husband hasn't, to be honest. <laughs> So I had to tell my child that these were mine and not hers. They'll look very cute on you. Your <laughs> husband will love them. And she <laughs> says, she says, those aren't going to fit you, mommy. That's what she told me. I don't know how I feel about that. She's so mad right now. But um, yeah, oh. with Sensi Club, that's a really good benefit for your business. And then that's a tax write-off as well. If you're sampling it. Right. Oh, so mad. So mad. All right. All right. Let me shut my office door too. Uh, uh, okay. Um, so that's Sensi Club, a little bit about it. I really, I challenge, not challenge, I encourage you guys to do a little bit more research on Sensi Club and how you can make it more relatable. And sometimes some of the things that'll help you, like the bricks, you can get those and sample them out every month. I've, I've been doing Luna. So this month, or I'm sorry, this month I did Luna. Last month I did Luna. This month I'm doing Welcome Home because it's kind of a fall scent-ish. And then, excuse me, for spring I'm gonna do Black Raspberry Vanilla. And I think they're $24. So I have that and then I have a couple other things that I personally use that are on my system. So then I get free shipping every month. So I'm still getting my free shipping even though I'm not placing my orders, my party orders every single month. Um, I used to place them twice a month and the struggle of $500 twice a month for my locals, I should say, is a struggle. I don't get that much for my locals anymore. I used to get 500 minimum in two parties. People had people that ordered on the first and I had people ordered on the 15th. So now they don't want to wait. And those are all my people doing Sensi Club. Um, but that's about it for the selling techniques and efforts I wanted to go over with you guys. Do you guys have any questions or comments about that? Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to talk a little bit about incentives then. So with the incentives, as you guys know, we have the $500 raffle, that uh, club raffle. So anybody who goes sells over $500 this month gets a ticket for the raffle to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Woohoo! And I may have two of those. Just might have two of those at monthly. Hey, can't come. Right? 25 bucks on Amazon, you can buy business supplies, just something for you guys being able to, um, and like I said, I, I might have two of those, so there might be either a $50 winner, or there might be two 25s. Um, a little fun fact is for $500, you get one ticket, for 1,000, you get three, and for 2,000, you get five tickets. So, five, five. <laughs> no, but I'm sorry, okay. so I'm extending it to the end of the month. Oh, okay. But the $500 club is going to be just by Friday, the okay. 15th. So that's that going to be somebody earns that by Friday, the prize. And then, I'm sorry, the end of the month, this is for anybody who hits 500 by the end of the month or 1000 or 2000 y'all are going to be entered into the $25 Amazon gift card. So there's a whole other prize for the 15th. I didn't mean to uh, confuse y'all with that. Y'all are going to get a different price for that, whoever earns that one. But this one is by the end of the month. So $500 gets you one ticket, 1000 gets you three tickets, and 2000 gets you five tickets. So like I said, I have a $25 gift card times two, so there may end up being a person who just gets $50 in Amazon gift cards, which is a lot of money. You can buy some stuff with that. Just saying. No. I like but Amazon. Me too. I need to just delete Amazon Prime or Amazon off my phone. No. That I have. It would save me so much money. Dave Ramsey is probably like rolling around in his bed, just like, you need to delete Amazon. I'm not deleting it. Can't make me. My poor have. husband. Um, but that's it for incentives. So basically I just want to summarize a little bit about how the training is going to affect your business with the three legs of success. If you're focusing on systems with building, you know, your PRV, your coaching and your recruiting, it is going to help you in your business tremendously, especially as a leader. You are um, going to um, have that word of the year is going to help you kind of hone in, like I said, and have your goal and have an idea of how you want to work your business and what you're working towards this year. The Sensi Club is just a 
bangerang awesome way for you to be able to have sales without having to work that hard. So working harder in the beginning is going to be all you have to do. And it just makes it mind blown, just makes it so smart. Like I, one lady told me last night and said, I get $2,000 in Sensi Club orders a month. And then all my work that I do, I get another 2000 That's $4,000 in Sensi a month. Her check is a slide. Her check's good. Her check's very good. And she's already earned the trip, the free vacation for her and her husband. So I just wanted to help you guys. And you guys are helping me as well, you know, kind of to learn some new ways. I'm just, you know, playing around with it. But um, that's really about it. I know it's early, but I had a quick mini training I wanted to go over with you guys. If you guys want to, I would love to take a picture of us. I don't know what y'all look like, but I'd love to have a picture of us in our team meeting and show who show everybody who showed up and everybody who is not here right now i know that you guys are working you're busy you couldn't make it right now that's okay hashtag replay right hashtag replay underneath this video it's going to be posted right up on our page and we miss you all and we understand that you couldn't be here it's no harm done and uh, i will uh, get all those notes and stuff i promised to a few people and i'm gonna go ahead and pause